Hey, this is Presh Tollwalker. Let's start out with the construction on triangle ABC. From A, construct a perpendicular to the side BC at the point E. Angle CAE is equal to 40 degrees. From the point B, construct a line segment to AE that intersects at the point D. This line segment divides angle B into two angles of 10 degrees each. From the point D, construct a line segment to C. Let the measure of angle DCE be equal to X. The question is what is the value of X? This is from a Polish mathematical Olympiad and many people are wondering what's the correct answer? Pause the video if you'd like to give this problem a try and when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. So how can we solve this problem? I'm going to present two solutions. One uses geometry and another uses trigonometry. So let's get started with geometry. So on first attempt, you're going to try to solve for all the different angles. Use any other formulas that you would know, any other principles. This problem is a little more challenging. You're not just going to be able to solve it by angle chasing in a normal way. So in a problem like this, the idea is to come up with various constructions and create different triangles. So usually you end up with an equilateral triangle or some type of circle. So let's get started. This solution is due to the user ACB on Math Stack Exchange, and I credit them because I wasn't able to figure it out. One of the difficult things about these geometry constructions is they require quite a bit of ingenuity. So we will get started with triangle BDC. Let's reflect this about BC. So we have a new triangle B D prime C where D prime is the image of D about BC. Now this triangle is a mirror image. So everything from the triangle above it will be mirrored. So E D prime will be a right angle at E. Then we have the angle E B D prime will be equal to 10 degrees. And we have E C D prime is equal to X as well. From here, we're going to construct another mirror image. We will take triangle ABD prime and we will reflect it about AB. So we end up with a new triangle ABD double prime. Now this triangle is also a mirror image. So what's the value of the angle ABD double prime? It's exactly the same as the angle AB D prime. ABD prime is equal to 10 plus 10 plus 10, which equals 30 degrees. So ABD double prime is equal to 30 degrees. Now, what can we do to solve for angle BAD double prime? We first need to solve for the angle BAD prime. So let's take a look at triangle ABE. Now we have a right angle at E. The other angle ABE is equal to 10 plus 10 equals 20 degrees. So the other acute angle will be equal to 90 minus 20, which equals 70 degrees. So we know that when we reflect, this angle is also going to be equal to 70 degrees. We can now calculate the angle of D double prime AC, which is equal to 70 degrees plus 70 degrees plus 40 degrees, which equals 180 degrees. So we have a straight line segment. D double prime AC is a line segment. We also have the side BD double prime is congruent to the side BD prime. Now let's construct a line segment between D double prime and D prime. We have an isosceles triangle. The vertex angle D double prime BD prime is equal to 30 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10, which equals 60 degrees. So this entire angle is equal to 60 degrees. We have an isosceles triangle with the vertex angle of 60 degrees, and therefore we must have an equilateral triangle. The other two angles must be equal to each other and they must be equal to 60 degrees each. So the final side of the triangle is equal to the other two sides of the triangle. Now we are also going to show that D double prime D prime is equal to D double prime C. 
We will do this by showing we have another isosceles triangle. So first let's calculate D double prime B C. This will be equal to 30 plus 10 plus 10, which equals 50 degrees. Let's look at the corresponding angle D double prime C B. In order to calculate that, let's look at the right triangle A C E. We have a right angle at E. We know that C A E is equal to 40 degrees. So the remaining acute angle will be equal to 90 minus 40, which equals 50 degrees. So we have two 50 degree angles. So the opposite sides in triangle D double prime CB are equal to each other. So D double prime B is congruent to the side D double prime C. So all of these sides are congruent to each other. To make this point a little clearer, let's clean up the diagram. We have that these two sides are also congruent to D double prime D prime. So we have three sides that are equal to each other, all emanating from the point D double prime. So imagine that D double prime is the center of a circle and we construct a radius with the length equal to any one of these sides. This circle will then go through all three points C, D prime, and B. Let's now take a look at the measure of arc B D prime. This will be equal to the measure of the central angle, which is equal to 60 degrees. So this arc is equal to 60 degrees. But then let's look at the angle B C D prime. This is an inscribed angle of the circle that subtends the same arc B D prime. So by the inscribed angle theorem, this angle will have exactly half the measure of the arc B D prime. But this angle is exactly equal to X. So we have that X is equal to one half the measure of the arc B D prime. We know the arc is measure of 60 degrees. So X is equal to one half of 60, which equals 30 degrees. So X is equal to 30 degrees is the answer. Wow! So now let's solve the problem using trigonometry. As you'll see in this solution, trigonometry is such an overpowered method compared to geometry that many times people will say you have to solve the problem without using trigonometry. You don't need any sort of clever constructions, you can just numerically figure out the answer. So to get started, let's look at the right triangle ABE. We have a right angle at E. The other angle is equal to 10 plus 10, which equals 20 degrees. So the other acute angle, BAE, must be equal to 90 minus 20, which equals 70 degrees. Let's now look at the other triangle. We have one acute angle of 40 degrees. We have a right angle. So the other acute angle, ACE, must be equal to 90 minus 40, which equals 50 degrees. So let's go back to triangle ABE, which is a right triangle. The tangent of 20 degrees is equal to AE divided by BE. If we then look at the right triangle DBE, we have the tangent of 10 degrees is equal to DE divided by BE. Let's take a look at the other right triangles. In the right triangle ACE, we have the tangent of 50 degrees is equal to AE divided by CE. If we then look at the right triangle DCE, we have the tangent of X is equal to DE divided by CE. So now we can just put this diagram to the side and numerically work out what X is from these equations. So let's take ratios of each side. So on the left side, if we have tangent of 10 degrees divided by tangent of 20 degrees, we have DE over BE divided by AE over BE. The BE terms will cancel out. So we have this ratio is equal to DE over AE. Let's do the same thing for the other two tangents. We have tangent X over tangent 50 degrees is equal to DE over CE divided by AE over CE. The CE terms will cancel out. So we have the ratio of tangents is equal to DE over AE. So we now have two equations both equal to DE over AE. So they must be equal to each other. So tangent of 10 degrees divided by tangent of 20 degrees is equal to DE over AE, which equals tangent of X over tangent of 50 degrees. 
Multiplying both sides of the equation by tangent of 50 degrees, we get that tangent x is equal to tangent of 50 degrees multiplied by tangent of 10 degrees all over tangent of 20 degrees. All we need to do is use a calculator and we'll get that this is equal to 0.577, which is easily recognizable as one divided by the square root of three. So we take the arc tangent of that and we get that x is equal to the arc tangent of one over root three, which equals 30 degrees. And like magic, we figured out what x is equal to. Wow. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems, one video at a time.